What could be better than your favorite pair of cycling shoes? Well, customizing your favorite cycling shoes, of course. So in this video, I'm gonna have a go at vinyl wrapping the sole of my cycling shoes so that I can add in cool colors, cool designs, and then best of all, change it all as and when I like to make me the envy of all my cycling friends, all three of them. Choosing a cycling shoe is one of life's major decisions. Do you go for a bright and vibrant bold colour or do you play it safe? I played it safe. As you can see, I've gone for a fairly plain and dark colour on my DMT cycling shoes. And I kind of regret that now because anyone that knows me will know I love bright shoes and bright socks normally. So yeah, but not to worry though because I can just as easily add a colour and design in by vinyl wrapping the sole. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So today to use that, I've got my vinyl wrap I'm gonna use, nice metallic sort of iridescent blue color. Then I've got a little craft knife, some sort of tools to smooth some of the vinyl wrap out. I've got a nice squeegee to help smooth it all out. And then over here, I've got a heat gun to allow me to heat up the vinyl to try and manipulate that so that I can follow the different contours and lines of my shoes here. So that's gonna be a bit of an interesting one. Um, Let's get to it, next step of the process. Before we get started, can I just say one thing? Because I'm not exactly a vinyl wrapping expert, but the principles are fairly simple. We've just got to take our time, make sure the shoes are nice and clean and avoid getting lots of creases into the vinyl. And we should end up with a reasonable finish. I mean, I don't even know if I've got the right type of vinyl, but fingers crossed, we'll get to it. But the first step we need to do is to take our shoes and then mark out where our cleats are because we're gonna to need to remove these and also the little heel cup on the shoes because most cycling shoes have a removable little heel gripper on the back. Quite often, people will mark up the sole of their cycling shoes with a permanent marker, but obviously we're gonna be covering the sole up with a vinyl wrap, so that method won't work. Something I quite find useful and helpful is to just hold the shoe out and take a picture of it on your phone so you've got something to refer back to when you're putting the cleats back on. So that's everything removed off of the shoe that we need. So we've got the cleat removed off and we've got our little heel gripper removed off. All we need to do now is clean the sole up so that the vinyl can stick down nicely to it. And then we can make a start cutting the outline out onto the vinyl and make the first part of sticking it down and trying to make sure we've got no creases. Right, we're at the stage now where I can start to take the vinyl and actually use it and get it prepped and cut to shape, ready to go over to the sole of my shoe. But unfortunately, these size 46 shoes that I've got are a little bit too big to use the width of this vinyl. So I have to cut a whole length out like this. And then, if I just put that on there, and then see how much I need to do. Yeah, somewhere there, my thumb. So once I cut this to shape, cut one length out, then cut it in half again so I can get my one shoe on each side. Hopefully, I won't have to waste too much of the vinyl then. Then I can move on to sticking it down and working the edges nice and smooth so the middle section is smooth and then we can start to heat it up and manipulate the edges so it can fit around lots of the different contours and lines and angles that we've got on this shoe because that's going to be the tricky bit. This middle flat surface shouldn't be too bad to do but the tricky bit will be coming to the edges and getting a nice clean finish so let's get the vinyl stuck down and see what we've got. For those of you who aren't familiar with what a vinyl wrap is, it is a plasticky, flexible film, which is adhesive on the backing of it, and then is mounted onto a paper backing so it doesn't just stick to itself. And then to use it in our shoe application, or however you want to use it, you can quite simply peel it away from this paper backing, and then you've got this sticky surface here. And also, because it's vinyl and then made of a sort of plastic composition, as you heat it up, it becomes more flexible, malleable, and pliable, meaning you can shrink some areas and stretch it to fit to the form and the contours of your shoe. Perfect. So, first thing we're going to do is peel this all off and then centralize it over our cycling shoe and stick that central part in. I've got the main part stuck onto the shoe here. I can take my scissors and start to follow a closer outline of where we need to be, but make sure 
I don't cut too much of the vinyl off. Once I'm at that stage where I've removed a lot of the excess, I can then take the heat gun, start to warm up the edges of the vinyl to help me get it to, to follow the shape of the shoe. So first up, let's get my scissors and start to take off some of this excess vinyl that we don't need. So I can cut all the way around, like I say, making sure not to take off any more than what I'm gonna wanna be left with, otherwise I'll have to start again. So I can cut my way around. When you're using a hot air gun such as this, you do need to be careful with it because they do get incredibly hot, especially the little metal end here. But also you need to be mindful that you're trying to apply a little bit of heat to the vinyl, but not to run the risk of damaging your shoe because this does get incredibly hot. And if you hold it too close for too long, chances are you're gonna start to melt parts of your shoe. So apply a bit of caution here and don't come back to me if you melt your shoes. So the trick here is to heat the vinyl up carefully, stretch it into place and then stick it down or, well, so I'm told anyway, but let's turn this on, heat it up. Right, so far we've got this main central part stuck down, starting to get a lot of the edges tidied up. Whilst it might still look a little bit messy at the moment, a lot of this I can trim up because it's not actually on the sole of the shoe. There are a few key areas though, which, Still need a fair bit of attention. We've got this really tight radius curve at the back where I need to work out how I'm gonna make this nice and smooth and look smart. But the color is looking amazing so far. A lot of this front area is pretty much in place and no real creases here. I can trim all of this off. Around the sides looking pretty good. I've managed to get to the inside edge of a little contour here. The rear part is pretty good. Now I can just cut out the cleat holes which are here. So I can just use my little craft knife to get those. So that'll be fairly straightforward. I can do the same for this little vent hole at the front of the shoe. Trim around the edges, but my main concern at the moment is working out how I'm gonna sort the air around the heel cup. So that might take a bit of trial and error. And I think that might be a little bit of a sticking point for me, but the rest of it so far is looking good. So let's trim the edges up and see what we got. Right, I've trimmed all the way around the edges of the shoes. We've got a nice clean finish all the way around. Most of it is looking pretty good. I mean, the color is super impressive. All I need to do now is cut out the markings where my cleats go and the holes so I can put the heel gripper back in place. Generally, it's good. There's a few creases around the edges on some of the tricky curves and bends that I've had to try and heat the vinyl around. So hopefully I can smooth those out a little bit more and well, maybe I might even perfect the technique a little bit for the for the other shoe when I do that. But for now, I'm gonna cut out these little holes, mount the cleats back on, and then look to try and smooth out some of these areas where I think I could maybe make it look a little bit better and a little bit smarter. So on with that, I guess. That's the first one back together and finished off and it looks absolutely incredible. The color really does stand out, especially when I get these out in the sunlight. Sure, there's a few bits that need a little bit more time spent on them, but I can do that in a little bit because I'm gonna go and do the other shoe in a minute and hopefully I'll perfect my technique a little bit more because, well, it's mostly down to the poor technique that I've got. So hopefully that'll improve with a little bit of time on the other shoe and then I'll see you out on the road. It's 8.30 at night, I'm here wrapping the second shoe. This is the first one, so plenty of creases all around the edges, a few creases here and there. Not too bad, but not amazing. But check out this one. Look at this. Smooth, 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 smooth. I'll tell you what, I've got a lot better at the second go round with this. I'm almost tempted to take the first one off and have a go again, but uh, it's quite late at night. I can't be bothered, to be honest. See ya. Check these out. 
I'm not gonna lie, I'm quite happy about this. Although I have got to admit, the second one is considerably better than the first one. So on the first one here, I've got quite a few little creases and bits and pieces. It's definitely not a perfect job. Whereas on the second one, I really did get a little bit braver with using the heat gun and I've got pretty much no creases around the edges. They're a nice crisp, clean edge. And I've got to admit, they do look cool, come on. I mean, the ability to customize your shoes, make them look cool, not only is it doing that, it's also actually serving quite a useful purpose of protecting the carbon fiber sole. So that's gonna have a nice finish under there. Anyway, that's enough talking about these shoes. Let's get them on, get on the bike and see how they look out on the road. Now I know the color of vinyl wrap that I've chosen to wrap my shoes in might not be everyone's cup of tea, but that's the thing with vinyl wrap. You can pick and choose whatever color or design you like. There's literally hundreds of different ones to choose from. And if after time you decide you don't like it, well, you can quite simply peel it off and start again. It's that simple. And because it's a relatively low cost upgrade for your cycling shoes, there's no need to worry about having lots of goes at practicing or just change it up now and again. It's not gonna cost you a fortune. So can you vinyl wrap your cycling shoes? Of course you can. I feel confident enough to say that most people would be able to achieve a perfectly good finish on their cycling shoes. I mean, take me for example. I've never done this before and sure, the first shoe I did is not as good as the second one, but even that one's not perfect. But if I was to do it all again, I'd be fairly confident in saying I'll get a good finish and I'd be really happy with it. Hope you've enjoyed this video. And if it's inspired you to vinyl wrap your own cycling shoes, well, let me know in the comments section down below what color or design you choose. And while you're down there, give this video a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to GCN Tech and hit the bell icon to be notified of all things bike tech. See ya.